Hi everyone, it's me, Jessica Lahore, and we are back in the Lahore's Lounge, where I take local guests and celebrities and friends of mine, bring them in, in for a little interview, some games and fun. But before we get into this week's episode, you must subscribe to my YouTube channel with the little bell for notifications. But let's get our guest, Miss Lulu All Night, in here for the Lahore's Lounge. Stay tuned. Attention the whore, attention the whore, attention the whore, attention, attention. Here I am walking down the street, seeing all the boys trying to take a peek. Shorts pulled up, a chest upright. Come on, boys, just take a bite. Look, but don't touch, spin it round and round. Hi everyone, we're back, and I am excited because I have my next special guest, one of my favorites and my sisters, Miss Lulu All Night. Hi, Lulu. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You're, better now. You're better now. You yeah. look beautiful. Oh, thank you. You look so fabulous, and your Pepsi tall real glass of Pepsi. Mm, bubbly and delicious. Mm, well, make thanks you for gassy. joining me oh. for the. <laughs> Queens with IBS, we gotta stick together. Hey. Uh, thanks for joining me for the Lahore's Lounge. We're doing yeah. this as a little reboot. You got to join me in a previous one that didn't work out. <laughs> and so hopefully this one all comes to fruition. No. Um, <laughs> was. That was good. That was good. Okay. Lula, yes. <laughs> you are known as being the pickle queen in Denver. You are an ultimate queen winner. You are a seasoned entertainer known for their mixes, their comedy, anymore. their looks, their hair, uh, semi stupidity, your flag twirling and more. What has like been the growth of what Lulu started as and where she is now and what you thought that was going to be like? Wow. Uh, loaded question. That's, right a, that's a loaded I know, question. I know. Um, uh, so, well, <laughs> When I started drag, I was, I didn't know that I really wanted it to be like a serious thing, right? Yeah. I like had a career and I had this job that I thought I really liked. I didn't. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, I was doing it like once every two months. Um, and then I was like, hmm, I like this. <laughs> boobs are fun. One of these days, these boobs are gonna walk all over you. Right? Yeah. And so, yeah, so I was like, I want to do it more. Um, so, yeah, I just started to do it. And the more that I did it, the more I found it was easier for me to, like, insert myself into my drag. Okay. And, right? And so, like, like you said, the, like, spinning a flag and, and spinning a rifle and, and things like that coming from my color guard background, it was... The more I did drag, the easier it was for me to start incorporating those things into drag, right? And it's yeah. kind of like a a keep fresh, keep people interested kind of thing, you know? It's like you have all these little snippets and pieces you can, like, throw in. You're you... how many years into the game right now? Uh, I just turned six. Six years old. Okay. Fabulous. Happy birthday. Thank you. So yeah. Young. Oh, so my young. God. Thank you. So young. So young for sex. <laughs> so young. <laughs> I eat children. <laughs> Keep them fresh. Um, yeah, no, uh, Cinco de Mayo is my wow. uh, my drag birthday. Yeah, I know. Wow, Fun, yeah, right? The birth of Lulu. That's fabulous. Yeah. So on top of these these little elements, what do you think makes Lulu special and stand out in her performances? Like when you're thinking of, of drag in the city, there's so many different entertainers. You manage to stay very booked, very blessed, and you bring your own kind of essence to what you do. What do you think is what makes Lulu Lulu? Um, not taking myself too seriously. That was like, that was the click for me in drag is like when I realized like, oh, I don't have to like, like, uh, do, 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 do. like I could just like, it. yeah, <laughs> I could just like be me and like, I don't know. There's so much more, like I find so much more joy in what I do and I'm just being silly. Just being just silly. Just being silly. Can I swear? You can here? swear. You can say what you oh. We're not that monetized. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> okay. We don't do shit. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay, well then. I, I mean, I don't have anything right now. But just, just in just case. Want, just in case. Yeah, you want to get it out to. real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Perfect. Yeah, okay. You know, Lulu, one of the things that I love about this is that I get to kind of know you on the outside of the drag world, uh, outside of being sisters, we're friends, um, and we get to enjoy each other in our, you know, successes, our failures, and everything in between. Um, what was one of your biggest highlights that you think, what outside of, of, of drag, that you think was part of a moving forward in your life? Like, what was something that was huge that kind of pivotally moved you to be who you are today? With the loaded questions, I know. Huh? I'm not the, I know. This is all the the intense part first. Wow. Uh, um. There was a moment where I tried to do drag full time. I like 
quit my job. Uh, I mean, like, okay, I didn't like quit my job, but like, <laughs> I went from like eight hundred hours a week to like two. Um, that was obviously an exaggeration, everybody. And that was like very real for me, not only in drag because I was going to take it on as like a full time like career, you know, like earning my living monetarily like through drag. Yeah. Um, and uh, and also it affected me outside of drag because that was the career that I had built myself up to, mm. you know, my moving yeah. m- in my life up to that point. Um, and once I did that, um, I-, I just realized like how much drag really, really takes to, to be successful at it, you know, and, and, and what that work ethic looks like. And then, um, and here I am now, she's a business woman, a business woman. uh, she's business nine to five. Um, and then at five Oh one, Tips she's a little, fish. she's a little slut. Um, but yeah. And so like, I don't know, that was, that was a very big moment for me is, is like the realization of, of what it takes to really, really like strive and be successful because when you're doing this full time, you don't have a choice, yeah. but you, like you, you really, you don't have to a eat choice. eat it, breathe it, live it. Yeah. yeah. You have to. Um, and so like having that step outside of, and not having my like real life, real world, like job anymore. Um, that was a huge click for me to, and, and it taught me how to be able to mold those two together, yeah. you know, like blend your, your real life and, and drag and, and be able to do it all. You know, and I would, I would describe you as definitely a workhorse coming from what you just said, that you are constantly styling a wig, designing an outfit, creating a mix, working your job, taking care of a household. Um, you're constantly going, 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 going. No sleep. Bus. Club. Another club. Another club. Plane. Next place. What are some of the things that you do for yourself that just make you happy? Besides smoke weed. <laughs> Sorry. Besides being a stoner and smoking weed. Damn. You got me on that I know. One. I know that's exactly <laughs> what you're going to say, too. Um, okay. You know what I really like to do? Um, clip coupons. <laughs> <laughs> do you really? I know. It sounds like, yes. Do you watch the coupon shows, too? Oh, my like God. Extreme, extreme coupon? couponing? That was my jam. You look like you're about to like have an orgasm when I brought that <laughs> up. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I love doing that. Also, um, oh gosh. scratch off lottery tickets are like a guilty pleasure. Well, wow, that's like a, a fun and <laughs> very nervous guilty pleasure that, that you should have. I know people are like, I take coupons a, that I save take a me bubble money. bath with fresh lavender. And I'm like, I right, save I'm money gonna, on this bubble bath, I but I lost coupons. money on this scratch off. But I use the scratch off thinking as a smoky eye. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> wow, I didn't even know that about you. Wow, now the world's gonna know. Yeah, I'm a crazy coupon lady. I love that for you so much. Okay, but when I lived in Ohio, it was so much easier because we had double coupon days, right? So any coupon up to 99 cents, they doubled it at the store. Oh, <gasps> girl! <laughs> I, uh, Do they ever pay you money back? I was at the top of the world. No, I didn't get that. Good. Well, I just don't need 47 bottles of Heinz ketchup. You do. (laughs) You do. Well, I mean, maybe I do. But not the weird flavored shit. That's weird. It didn't taste the same. Anyway. Y'all learned some (laughs) fun things just as much as I did. Lulu, just to give us uh, us that little taste of you. Um, We have a game that we're going to play with you next. Oh. Okay. So we have Oscar that selected... A series of songs that every queer or drag person should know. We have one minute on the clock, and we have to work together, okay, to identify these songs. If we don't know, we can pass. Okay, great. I love it. So we're doing this together. Ready? And go. Oh, Pussycat Dolls. dolls. Buttons? Um, Yeah, Buttons. Good one. Um, uh, J-Lo, Living for Tonight. Yeah, 9 to 5. Oh, yeah, Dolly. (laughs) We do Dolly. (laughs) It's 9 to 5. Oh, uh, Spice Girls. Spice Up Your Life. Oh, good one. Oh, uh, Larger Than Life, Backstreet Boys. Oh, good. Judas. Oh, Gaga. yeah. You're good. Uh, uh, found Love in a Hopeless uh, Place, Rihanna. Rihanna. Madonna, Vogue. <laughs> Vogue, Madonna. Sorry. Britney Spears. Hi. Uh, wait, but wait, what was that, Britney? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What was that? I don't know. This is a different song. I know this is a different song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet Escape. Yeah, this is Sweet Escape, Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani. 
We have seven seconds. Uh, 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 Lady oh, Gaga, yeah. applause. applause. Uh, oh, in, I did this cannibal. monster. Or no, not cannibal. <laughs> Kesha. <laughs> One more. Mm, Fergie. Fergie. Oh, poor Fergie. Died off so quickly. Um, um, you guys did a lot how, how did we do? How many we songs did, did we yeah, get we that We did time? a lot better. I will have to look back at the video. <laughs> <laughs> we got so many We got songs. a lot. Did, uh, we got a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was way more than we ever did. Lulu, that was really great. We found some songs and music and stuff. Like <laughs> yes. This is so Woo! put together <laughs> wonderfully. Um, this next segment, <laughs> what we're going to do is I took a deep dive on the internet, your socials and whatnot, and I found videos videos and photos that I want you to explain to me what is happening, okay? <laughs> um, and give me some more context. So, okay. the first one I found is from 2018, okay? And mm. you are now more recently the pickle queen, okay? Yeah. But I found this photo of you with pickles in your titties. <laughs> so, can you tell me about this photo? Because you were not the pickle queen yet. No, but this was the start of an era, Okay. Okay, so this was one of, this is actually one of the first outfits that Aunt Tammy made for me. Okay. Um, so Aunt Tammy makes all of my outfits. She's like, my gal. She's one of um, them. She's like my real aunt. Um, anyway, this was one of her first form that she made for me. Um, how do you feel I, about this makeup and stuff too? Like, how do you feel about this whole photo? Tell me. Okay, this was the first time I ever did my makeup without Raven. Like, okay. Because Raven and I would do our makeup like together because she would like help me and be like, Oh, bitch. <laughs> um, this was my first time doing it without Raven. Okay. So I, I feel like I'm okay with yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, all right. Look at you. Um, the breastplate was something I tried for a while, and it just, that there. Didn't like it. No, that's no. not, that's not popping. Whose pickles are these? Um, so those were one of my coworkers' pickles. Oh. Yes. They were, get, see the little bow on top? Mm -hmm. They were a Christmas gift. So you were a pickle queen before you knew you were a pickle queen. Oh, yeah. When I was little, I used to, like, that was my Saturday morning cartoon snack. You know, people like, like. Oh, and this is May breakfast. 6th. You said Cinco de Mayo is your drag birthday. So was this recently after a drag birthday? Mm-hmm. Wow. And it was a drag nation, too. This was a dra and you went to Drag Nation. Mm hmm. Wow. Yep. Okay. So that was number one. So this is number two. Okay. Do you remember this? Yeah. <laughs> so why did we come up with this, and why was this a thing that we decided to do? Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, because Shelby oh, yes. did this on TikTok, and I thought it was the funniest thing that I have ever seen, and I've always wanted to try it. This is also when we were doing, an, we did the tortilla challenge as well. This was the morning after the tortilla yes. challenge. Yeah, Where you slap somebody, that's a fun game. That's you a tortilla, fun. me and Kalila can play that. that yes. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> oh good, expired tortillas are the best. And we were like, oh it's not going to work, it's not going to work. I know. We put I you in this so garbage bag. I was so frustrated. Cam was there. Yeah. I was so upset because all I wanted to do was work. <laughs> Dude, I've been here. This is where this is where it happened. I thought it was like the third time. Okay, and see in her video, she makes it look so easy. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> You just fall over. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> this is great. That's what it feels like to be my How grandma's was that blankets. Feeling? Yeah. <laughs> was that a good feeling for you? Um, it was interesting for sure. The the anticipation was a lot, and then once it happened, it was like, <gasps> yeah, it was good. Um, my final thing for you oh, that okay. I found on social media Sorry, is, <laughs> is this moment. Oh. So tell me about this. This was winning. Yeah. That was Ultimate Queen uh, competition 2019. That was my crowning moment. She's pretty. What was this experience like for you? Um, it was hard. It was really hard. I it was like, winning, but... oh, winning. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this moment oh, particularly. That very, very yes. moment. Um, like, what was this feeling like after so much work? 
you know, it was really surreal. I really felt like I did it didn't sink in for like days. It was just like I was just like in this moment where it just didn't seem real because I wasn't sure that it was going to be me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and then for it to actually happen, you're like, "Holy shit. What just happened?" Yeah. You know, um, especially because I didn't feel like I, that one, of, like, I didn't really feel one of my performances was that great and spectacular. And so I felt like I was kind of like not in the running at that moment because mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I fucked it up. Um, but yeah, I don't know. They like said my name and I was like, <laughs> what? It was like one of those things where I was like, I don't know what to do. Oh, like, like and someone's like, hey, girl, they called Yeah, you're like, what do I do? And I'm just like, thank you. I don't know, like, think, like looking back on it now, like, <laughs> I, probably would have, I probably would react differently, I think. I don't I know. I mean, in such an amazing moment, but you're also the longest run- reigning queen. Yes, yes. Ultimately. I mean, well, thanks to COVID. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to COVID. It doesn't matter how you did it. You still are, girl. Yeah, um... They, oh, they just crowned a, an yeah. Olympian. So 19, 20, 21. Three years. Wow. Three years. That's so wonderful. Well, thanks for taking yeah. that deep dive with yeah. me this week and giving us some backstory. Mm, deep dive. Um, this final segment, before we get to find out where they can find you, uh, is a TikTok trend. So we have these Ooh. headphones. So noise canceling. Before you put this on, though, so I can we explain. Oh, yeah, you're right, because so I wouldn't be able to hear you. <laughs> where's your phone? Oh, it's right here. So this is the trend that's been going on. So you're going to make a call to anyone that you want to. Anyone that you think that will pick up, okay? I can hear. You cannot hear. I cannot talk. You can talk. So I'm going to try and depict what you should be saying back by mouthing your response to who's on the phone. You have to have a conversation with the person on the phone uh, with what I think that I hear for you to say. Oh, my God. Who am I going to call? Okay, um... This is Cousin Emily. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hey! Hi. What are you doing? I'm just doing fashion. Oh, I'm doing my fingernails and my toenails. Can you come, can you come help me? Oh, you're, you're getting your nails done. Well, well, look, I'm doing them, I do them myself, but, like, I don't do them nearly as good as you do. You're doing them yourself? I always do. I'm a, I'm a cosmetologist. Like, why well, are you going to pay for that shit? And you're, you're getting your makeup done, too? And you're, no, for, no. to go out? No. Sorry. No, I'm. No, I'm just doing no. this to make, make myself, you know, feel better as a human being. Oh, uh, I'm glad you're happy. No, they're looking, they're looking bad, but I am. Yeah, I'm going to Columbus this weekend, but, <laughs> and, and just in case I go The wrong, pizza to go. <laughs> The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. Uh, what's up? Oh, Columbus. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Um, I'm. Oh, I'm just getting ready for a show. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a late show. No, nothing bad. Okay. No, yeah, I'm, no thing bad. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're breaking, are you, am I on speakerphone or, because like, uh, you're breaking up a little bit. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I have you on speakerphone right now. Oh, okay. So what are you doing? You're just putting your, you're just getting ready? Are you doing the same thing I am? Yeah, I'm eating while I'm doing my hair. Oh my goodness. We are, like, in the same world right now. I know. We're, like, I, two peas in a pod. 
if we're doing the same things, like trying to make ourselves look as pretty as we possibly can be. Yeah! Party! Uh, That's it. Where, where are you? Like, what show are you going to? I'm go you're hungry. No, I'm not hungry. What show? Like, what show are you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm going to... It's called X-Bar. Okay. And then, like, what are you... What are you okay, doing? bye. I love you. I, I love you, too. Thanks for calling me. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu, this was so much fun, and I really appreciate you taking the time to do yeah, this little uh, series that I'm trying to take off the ground. Um, where can people find you? Like, what's what's going on in Lulu's life? You can find me at Colfax at... No, I'm joking. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Um, so on social media, you can find me on Instagram at Lulu underscore all night. A-L-N-I-T-E. Um, also on Facebook as well. Um, do I have TikTok? I have TikTok, TikTok. yet. Yeah, I have TikTok too. Get me on the TikTokies because I'm like a cool kid now. I don't have Snapchat or Twitter no, or anything Snapchat. like that. Twitter's just for porn. Is Snapchat dead officially? It's not dead. It's there. Just nobody uses it. And Twitter's it. for porn. Yep. Twitter's for porn. Well, until Elon Musk changes that, but... <gasps> well, then good thing I don't have it. Because mm -hmm. if I... if I, I don't want to take it away like that. Oh, also, you can... If you want to order pickles, make sure you order pickles at www.lulus-pickles.com. Yeah. Yes, I do deliver and drag, too, so... She does. You want some pickles? And those are the best and pickles cool. you'll ever taste. Yeah. Some um, pickles and some melons. Some pickles and some yeah. melons. Lulu, you're so wonderful. I love you so very much. Thank, Thank you, you for again for being me. part of this. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.